Hi everyone, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm gonna to teach you a very elegant meal that's perfect for a date night, or really, to, you could even serve a big crowd with this, but it's so elegant and delicious that you want, you're gonna add it to your recipe repertoire. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to make my chicken breast that's gonna be stuffed with the roasted red pepper and feta dip. Oh, so good, so delicious. You can switch out the filling to put whatever you want and you can fill it with pesto or whatever, but you're gonna wanna give it a try. We're not gonna go over all of the ingredients. We're gonna go over them step by step. So the first thing we're gonna begin with is making the red pepper and feta dip. So for that, we're gonna need some roasted red peppers, some sun-dried tomatoes and olive oil, a little bit, a little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes, lots of good quality feta cheese, a little bit of pepper, some olive oil, and a little chunk of cream cheese. So now I'm gonna do this all using my food processor because it's just super simple to uh, do it that way. I'm gonna first begin by chopping up these sun-dried tomatoes about a tablespoonful. We're just gonna pulse it until they're chopped up. Once they're finely chopped, we're gonna just add all of the rest of the ingredients in here. The roasted red peppers, a little chunk of softened cream cheese. I'm also gonna help the machine along by crumbling the feta in. Just a little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes, leave them out if you're not a fan, and a couple tablespoons of really good olive oil. Give it a nice mix until it's all nice and smooth. It's looking good, and now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of black pepper. You could also add this in at the beginning. And that's it, the mix is ready. So the dip is done, now we're gonna focus on uh, the chicken and the seasonings. So you're gonna need four chicken breasts, I have three here, I'm gonna go get the other one in a minute. And we're gonna need some salt, cumin powder, some dried oregano, a little bit of paprika, black pepper, and some olive oil. But you can use your favorite seasonings to do this. So there are many ways to slice a chicken breast and to stuff it. I'm gonna show you the easiest way that doesn't require any pounding of the chicken or anything like that. You wanna take the chicken breast and from the thickest part, you're just gonna slice it to create a little pocket, carefully not to go all the way through. That's good, just like that. We're gonna do all of the rest. So now we're gonna season the chicken. We're gonna drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. Now make sure when you're working with poultry and you're gonna, if you're touching other things, you have one hand that touches the poultry and the other one should stay clean, so that way we don't contaminate anything. Just like that. We're gonna open it up. The inside we're gonna simply season with some salt and pepper because the feta dip has so much flavor. Well, I'm gonna put the pepper in a little bit because I don't wanna have to touch the pepper grinder now and then the outside we're gonna do salt a little bit of cumin powder some oregano and paprika to give it really nice color this is regular paprika not smoked and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and now that I've washed my hands I'm just gonna season it with some black pepper on the outside and on the inside as well Now you can bake it in the oven on that baking tray that you're seasoning it in, but I love baking in cast iron pans because they retain the heat and just it makes it cook so much better. So just transfer this onto your, into your cast iron pan. Making sure to get all of that seasoning. I've transferred my dip into a larger mixing bowl and then I also put a little bit into a smaller bowl that we're gonna be working with just in case the, the spoon touches the chicken and if we have any leftover um, dip, I don't want it to be contaminated and I definitely don't wanna waste it and throw it out. Now fill this with about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of the, of the dip. Put it right into that pocket, just like that. Now it's up to you if you wanna secure it with some toothpicks. Some of this sauce is going to ooze out no matter how hard you try. You know what, once it cools, you could always stuff it back in. The last ingredient that I forgot to put in there was some shredded mozzarella cheese. This is gonna add some nice, ooey, gooey, melted, cheesy goodness. So you can leave it out if you don't like it, but 
who doesn't like some extra cheese in their life? I'm just going to put some cheese in there. It's going to melt and it's just going to be delicious. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to pop this in there and I'm going to take it out once the internal temperature of the chicken registers 165 degrees using a meat thermometer. That takes anywhere between 15 to 25 minutes. So at the 15 minute part, point you want to go in and you want to check it and then I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. So the chicken needs another five or ten minutes. While it's finishing up baking, I'm going to make a balsamic vinaigrette that's going to go on top of it that goes beautifully with it. So for that, you just need a little bit of Greek honey. One to two tablespoons should be good depending on how much dressing you're making. You could pour this stuff over literally anything. Some balsamic vinegar, good quality Greek extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, a little bit of salt, and some oregano. We're basically just going to whisk this all up until it is emulsified and blended all together. And there we go, just like that the dressing is ready. So you can pour this, this sauce over roasted vegetables, over salad meat, chicken, anything, anything your heart desires. You could even marinate chicken in this and then bake it in the oven. Makes it taste so delicious. But as soon as the chicken's out, we're going to put this all together. So my chicken is ready. You're going to want to let it rest a few minutes before you slice into it. But if you don't already have a meat thermometer, it's, this is an oven safe one, which means that you can just leave it in and um, just check on it as the meat bakes. But it's a really good investment to have as a kitchen tool because it doesn't leave you guessing on wondering if the chicken is done or not because over baking chicken makes it really dry. So if you don't have one, I'll leave a link down below where you can get one. The house is smelling amazing. I do have some of the, the some of the red pepper and feta dip left over. I'm gonna leave it aside. You can serve it along with the meal or use it as a dip. It's so flavorful and delicious. Now I have my balsamic dressing here, but my favorite way to serve this is with roasted asparagus and tomatoes. It comes together at the same time. It really, literally takes 15 to 20 minutes in the oven, the same time that it takes for the chicken to be ready. It's just really fresh tasting and delicious. The recipe, I've already done this on this channel, so I'll link it in the card section up above. Now it's time to plate this. So I'm going to take a piece of this luscious chicken. Smells incredible. I'm also going to take some of those pan juices because there's so much flavor in them. Pour that on top. Now if any of the filling has oozed out or if some of it will definitely, but once it cools down, just take scoop it up and then you could just push it back in. No big deal. Nobody will ever tell tell and for it to be honest, nobody will care because it's going to taste so good. Now to, to my plate, I'm going to add some asparagus and some of these sweet roasted tomatoes. And then last but not least, we're going to finish this off with some of this sweet balsamic dressing. Now this dressing tastes good on the asparagus and on the chicken. So it's a double win. And if you wanted to take it over the top just a little bit more, put some crumbled fat on top of this while it's nice and hot. Time to dig in. Just look at that. Look at how juicy it is. The filling is just oozing out. It's nice and hot. Oh my God. No need to go out for date night because this beats any restaurant meal, any time of the day. I can't even describe all the flavors. It's just so much flavor, so little effort. I don't know, I think you're gonna love it. The recipe, as always, is in the description box down below, as well as on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Share pictures with me if you make it on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.